Welcome to another psdvault.com tutorial. In this video I'll show you how to non-destructively sharpen an image. So first of all I'm loading the image there as the background layer. Then I'm just going to press Ctrl J to, to uh, duplicate that into a new layer. And then what I'm going to do is select everything, Ctrl A, then Ctrl C to copy it to the clipboard. Then I'm going over to the channels here and going to create a new alpha channel and paste that in. Now to start the sharpening on this layer we're going up to the filter menu, down to stylize and find edges. You can see that it's found the edges of all the colors in the image. Then we go to adjustments, levels, and we're going to make levels like that. Then we're just going to f apply a um, slight one pixel blur, Gaussian blur to that. Then we're going to do the levels again, just to bring up the contrast. Now what we want to do is select all this and apply it to a new layer. So control click on that channel, that'll select everything, but it's the wrong selection. So we want to inverse that, or we can just press control shift I. Go back to our layers, click on the first layer and duplicate it into a new layer. And you can see those are the bits that it's actually going to sharpen. Now the final things that we want to do to this is apply an unsharp mask. So we go up to the filter, down to sharpen, and we choose unsharp mask. And make it about 90%. And we want to do this twice. So let's do that again there. Then we'll go into the edit menu and do fade unsharp mask. And now it's a matter of turning on the layers underneath and we can see what our results look like. So you see their hair and her eyes really stand out here. So that's the way it was before. And we turn on the layer. That's made that a lot sharper. And if we go down to the dress here, you can see it's done the similar thing on the edge of the dress as well as the lacy bits there. Well, thanks for listening. Hopefully you can use this technique in some of your own projects. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.